Good day, everyone. I'm Brian Sherman, Distinguished Engineer with IBM. And I'm John Singh. I'm part of the worldwide IBM Spectrum Scale and Elastic Storage Server brand. I'm the worldwide evangelist for those products. And today uh, we have a very exciting launch coming up, uh, known as the ESS 3000. And uh, John, do you want to take us through some of, some of the highlights of the upcoming announcement? Yes, we are. We're really excited about this. So we are introducing the next generation of Elastic Storage System, the Elastic Storage System 3000. In 2U24, we have a NVMe-based system that will deliver 40 gigabytes per second. Uh, it's designed to be easier to install, uh, install in just a couple of hours into an existing spectrum scale environment. Uh, and we believe we have a really uh, di differentiated product to bring to the marketplace for big data and AI. That's, that sounds great. I do have a few questions sure. the, that uh, we, we, we typically get on, on any new product, product announced. So is it part of the ESS family so you can you know, have it join any other clusters mm -hmm. in, in, in the environment? Yes, absolutely. This is a ESS uh, system. You can put it and intermix it with an existing uh, ESS uh, clusters, existing spectrum scale clusters. It has in 2U24, in the back of the 2U24 are two servers that run the full spectrum scale and the full spectrum scale rate. Uh, we have up to 280 terabytes of usable in a 2U form factor, uh, NVMe-based drives. Uh, so we think we have something really um, powerful from a high performance standpoint, from a low weight and power consumption standpoint, from a density standpoint. And you, you mentioned uh, up, to, up to 24 NVMe drives. Mm -hmm. Are they just industry standard uh, NVMe or are we using our flash core modules? So we're using Samsung uh, standard NVMe enterprise class drives. There's four different sizes available, 1.92. 3.84 terabytes, 1.92 terabytes, uh, 7.68 terabytes, and 15.36 terabytes. You can either get it half populated at, with 12 or fully populated with 24. If you buy the half populated with 12, then later on you can non-disruptively add in the other 12, as long as they're the same size as the original 12. Okay, great, great. Um, is you, you, in the introduction you mentioned uh, so some ease of use. Can, mm -hmm. you, can you describe you know, what, what we've done to, mm -hmm. to help our clients in, in, from a deployment and making this easier to deploy? Yes, so we very much have worked hard to make this an easier deploy, the simplest and most straightforward way to deploy spectrum scale storage into a big data and AI environment. Very specifically, this is our first iteration of containerizing the spectrum scale code and the deployment on the two uh, spectrum scale data servers is a full containerized implementation so that when we go to update it, you just simply basically replace the container. Mm. Uh, all of the various uh, things as we know from um, microservices, cloud world, that this becomes the, the basis for something that you can easily manage just like you can in today's cloud environment with all the kinds of hooks. We use um, the same kinds of fundamental capabilities that IBM is on in our journey to cloud and our Red Hat OpenShift. Uh, those components are actually uh, actually live and in the back of this box. Oh, that's great. And I think, think I heard you say up to four, 40 gigabytes per second mm -hmm. out, of, out of the 2U enclosure. How, how does that relate to some of, some of the other uh, folks that we see in the industry? Well, of course, we, uh, our customers, all of you, want to know what's differentiated about this product. Well, two things. First of all, I think just uh, flat out speed and density. In 2U24, in this generation, uh, we will do 40 gigabytes per second. Other comparable products in the marketplace, uh, you typically are in a 4U form factor, and at least some of the ones that we've seen, uh, EMC, Isilon in a 4U, maybe about 15 gigabytes per second. Uh, NetApp in a 4U, maybe about 34 gigabytes per second. Pure storage in 4U, about 17 gigabytes per second. I know obviously, you know, those are all uh, just kind of round numbers, but we very specifically needed to uh, deliver a differentiating uh, capability. Oh, that, 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 that sounds, so, so, sounds really good. I know I've been looking forward to this tour a for, for quite some time, as, as, as of uh -huh. you have. Uh, any, any, anything else that, that uh, we, we, we need to convey to the folks that might be watching us? Sure. So uh, what are the usage cases? Well, certainly this is intended for file storage, 
for uh, big data and, and analytics types of applications. So that's really the marketplace for It's perfect for a high performance tier, it's perfect for keeping those uh, GPUs and uh, power AC 922 is fully fed with data. And of course it will work in any environment where you need just, uh, a, first of all, a, a form factor that's to you, extremely fast at a much better price point than we've in the industry have been able to offer before. But most specifically for the applications that are going to drive competitive advantage where we need to have that kind of AI intelligence and real time speed. That's what this box is intended to be. And be able to be the simplest, easiest to deploy spectrum scale uh, storage for AI and big data we've ever had. If you have an existing environment with spectrum scale, you'll be able to deploy this into that in environment uh, where if you have spectrum scale and ESS in just a couple of hours. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, uh, from a file services perspective, what about the protocol nodes? If we want to run or do SMB or, or NFS, are they containerized as well? That's a, a, a good question. So at this current generation, this is the storage high performance uh, serving. Uh, you will still, uh, if you have an existing spectrum scale and ESS environment, you can use the, the existing protocol nodes, but this is the very first uh, ESS 3000 you're deploying in this environment. Uh, you'll need to have your one and only first initial ESS management server. So make sure you remember to do this the first one. And if you, uh, we recommend that you use the spectrum scale client to access the data and with the ESS 3000, you can have an unlimited number of spectrum scale clients to install on any number of workstations that you want. But if you have native NFS or native SMB and you need to ins install that, then budget to include uh, protocol nodes external to the ESS 3000, so it could act as a gateway to provide those services. And I presume same sizing, you know, types of requirements and number of users, the same as we would do today for, for sizing? That, that's exactly right. And our tooling is all updated. Uh, the, we have a tool called the File and Object uh, Storage Design Engine tool. It's updated to support that for capacity and performance, and so you would use those and uh, we're all looking very forward to you know, helping you to be able to help you size and answer any questions you have about how to deploy this. So you, you mentioned that this was you know, part of the, the third generation. So what's it mean for the rest of the ESS family? Is this a replacement for the, the hybrid and SSD based models or uh, coincide with? Well, how, how, how does all this fit together? Well, we're going to continue to sell the SSD based models and the HDD models that we currently have today. They're very powerful. They're very well accepted in the marketplace. We're simply now filling out the IBM storage NVMe end to end portfolio with the elastic storage system version of that. And then, of course, uh, there will be uh, other enhancements in the future. But right now we're introducing concurrently with uh, the other models, the first of the third generation. Oh, that's excellent. Actually, uh, one other one other question I thought of: front end, mm -hmm. uh, uh, SCSI front end, InfiniBand front end, um, uh, Ethernet front end, mm -hmm. uh, very, very various flavors of, of front end connectivity, like we have historically. Yes. So this is a, it's a spectrum scale storage building block, and what that means is it has high speed IP network adapters or high speed InfiniBand adapters and the way that you access data inside an ESS is you use either the spectrum scale client uh, else on uh, outward in the um, uh, workstations or if uh, and that's the preferred way to do it you the other way to do it is to have front end external protocol nodes uh, which uh, act as the gateways to allow SIFs and NFS or object capabilities. Great, great. Uh, any last parting words? We're all really excited. This is uh, the first of the third generation of Elastic Storage System. We're changing the name from Elastic Storage Server to Elastic Storage System because we have a lot of uh, things coming, but this is the first uh, major release of this, and especially in a storage uh, 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 for AI, big data world, and especially in a journey to cloud and container-enabled, microservices-enabled world, this is a box it's going to lead us into that next generation. We hope you all thank you for your consideration for this. Okay, thank you very much.